Alice Spears, everybody. Oh, Max, can you help me? Sure. Anything you want. I'm in very big trouble. I kill him. <laughs> who do you kill? The man who put you in big trouble. There is no man. Your gracias. <laughs> no, it's my homework. I know finish it. I haven't even started it. <laughs> but Monsieur Brown is going to be very angry. Don't worry. Giovanni, he's going to fix everything. Yeah? What is Sarah? Oh. Okay. Who wants the homework? Only 10p each. Hey, 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 10p, no peseta. Okay, who's right, the next? Yes, please. Giovanni. Yes, please. Yeah. How, 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 how we know answers are right? Sure answers are right. My landlady's little boy writes them down. Alive. Oh, this is too bad. He should be here. You want I give Mr. Blown a massage? <laughs> I presume you mean message. Collect. <laughs> no, thank you. No, I shall wait until he arrives. It will give me an opportunity to find out how much you have learnt. Which is precious little, I suspect. But, madame, we learn a lot from Monsieur Brown. Yes. Yes. Oh, right. Quiet now, Mr. quiet, Mr. quiet. Yes. Very well. Let's see if we can find out how much you've learned from Mr. Brown. Uh, can anyone give me a sentence containing the word uh, catalyst? I catalyst? Well, come along, somebody. Catalyst. Por favor, señora. Yes. In my country, Spain, most of the people are Roman catalysts. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> That's not right. No? Italy is a much bigger catalyst country. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's what, please? Good evening, Miss Courtney. It's almost good night. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I'm late. I was detained at the paper shop. Mr. Brown, I know the times are hard, but do you have to deliver newspapers? Oh, no, no, no. I bought them. They're, they're for the students as part of their education. Well, they certainly need some education. Yes. Well, good evening. What is that? Ah, ah. Oh, excuse me, please. I'm just this moment arriving. Excuse me again. I go. What? <laughs> ah. I come back. <laughs> are you moving house? Oh, not at all. I'm coming here straight from work. Oh, you've got a job. Yes, please. I'm a traveling salesman. I go around <laughs> nicking the doors. <laughs> Knocking. That is correct. Hey, what are you selling? Oh, blimey, everything. For a master or a mistress. i show you some example. Maybe you will be wanting to buy something. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. I don't think that's my size. I'm so sorry, please. Uh, this case is for the lady people's only. Uh, yes. And... This case is for the men people. And everything very cut price. Ah, look this, please. You not have to be tying it. And also, if you are dropping soup, you'll be wiping it off. A jolly good plastic. Yes, very ingenious. Only one pound fifty. You're wanting one? No, thanks. I'm telling you what I am doing. To you, only one pound. Yeah, I don't want one. <laughs> How about a jolly good shirt? Ah, it is guaranteed 100% substandard. <laughs> no, thank you. Ali, you got any socks? Plenty socks. 50p only. Plenty woolly. Yeah, Ali. Uh, excuse, I'm serving. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I have a two. Right. One, two. Money, money, money. Thank you. Ah, now, tell me, anybody wanting any under trousers, all different colors? How much? Only 50p. Yeah. Ali, please. Ah, you are wanting no. one. I'm finding you a very good pair. Hi, 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 hi. Lovely, lovely. Red, white, and blue. Just like Union Jack. Very patriotic, but no thank you. Have you any scarf? Most definitely. For you, only one pound. Made in Hong Kong. Hong Kong? 
I not buy from capital estate where workers exploit it as cheap labor. <laughs> oh, ah, anybody else wanting something else? Ali, please. Ah, please. Ah, ah, you know, you know, you're you're extending your mind. No, I'm not. Put your suitcase away. This is not petticoat lane. Just sit down, everybody. Come on. Fine, Taro, sit down. Right, before we do anything else this evening, I want to find a monitor. Okay. You tell us where to look, we find the one. <laughs> oh, Giovanni, a monitor is a person who can take charge of the class during my absence. Somebody intelligent enough to assume responsibility. Mm. Yeah, on second thoughts, perhaps it's not such a good idea after all. Please. Mm. I think I'm making good money, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll alternate, have a different one each week. It'll be good experience for you. Right, uh, Anna, we'll start with you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, if you'll just hand these round and collect the homework. Yeah. Yes, Anna. Yes. And from now on, I want to hear no more foreign languages spoken in this class. From the moment you come in here, you speak English all the time. Is that understood? Por favor. And now, or finito. English only. Sora. Yes. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Anna. Now, have you all got a newspaper? Uh, si, yes, yes, yes. Right. Well, yeah. I'm going to ask you each to read out a passage from the newspaper, and then we'll discuss it together. Okay? Max, you start us off. American Embassy bugged. <laughs> no, Max, bugged. <laughs> hey. My boss, he all the time says he's bugged. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, that may be so, Giovanni, but the word we're dealing with is bugged. Now, read it again, Max, correctly. American embassy bugged. Good. <laughs> Good. Now, does anybody know what that means? Ah, Taro. <laughs> it means American embassy full of Little insects. <laughs> no, Tara, they're not that sort of bugs. Listening devices. Jamila, oh. can you read something from your newspaper? Yeah, read, oh, no, yeah, read something. There, there, that way. Ha. Eight P. Yes, well, that's a start. <laughs> Late again, Ranjit. Oh, Mr. Teacher, I am apologizing most humbly. Yes, well, perhaps next week you'll try and get here on time. I'm thinking next week I'm not being here at all. Well, you, <laughs> you leaving us? I'm going to be joining honorable ancestors. <laughs> Does you mean you're going to die? Most definitely. <laughs> I'm going to die by my own hand. Please, if you're wanting any assistance, <laughs> I'm... I'm happy to be helping. I thought you didn't like Sikhs. That is why I'm happy to be helping. <laughs> All right, Ali, this is no laughing matter. I think Ranjit is serious. Most well, certainly I am. Oh, well, why are you thinking of killing yourself? I'm forced to be getting married. Oh, uh -huh. you Randy old chapati. <laughs> you are putting some innocent lady in the pudding club. <laughs> Muslim yeah, all right, that'll do. Look, I don't understand, Radji. Why are you being forced to get married? According to the Sikh tradition, I was betrothed when I was 12 to Surinder, the 10-year-old daughter of the best friend of my father. She was a beautiful girl, with hair like silk, eyes like black diamonds, and a figure <laughs> like a tender bamboo shoot. And now her father is saying, it is time for me to be marrying her. Yeah, well, if she's got eyes like black diamonds, hair like silk, and a figure like a tender bamboo shoot, what are you complaining about? Blimey, that was 20 years ago. <laughs> now she's putting on so much weight that from behind, she's looking like an elephant. <laughs> Matter of fact, she's looking like an elephant from front also. <laughs> Can't you just tell her that you've changed your mind? Not at all. Only lady can change mind. Yeah. I am up the creek. Without a poodle? <laughs> and a paddle. You not do it. It's a sin to kill yourself. Oh, it's the only course which is left open to me. When you do this uh, killing yourself? Tonight. Can we come and watch? <laughs> this is ridiculous. People don't go around killing themselves rather than break off an engagement. But it is my religion. Well, in that case, why don't you marry? That will be worse than killing myself. Well, go and sit down. We'll discuss whether you kill yourself or not during the tea break. No. Have would you all look at your new... 
There is an Indian lady in my office who wishes to speak to Mr. Ranjit Singh. Excuse me, Missy. This lady, is she resembling an elephant? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly put it like that, but she's rather large. Blimey, please surrender! Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> ask her to come along here, Miss Courtney, would That's you? That's very irregular. Yeah, well, it is rather important. Oh, very well, but don't make a habit of it. <laughs> what are you doing that for? Oh, so we can talk to her, perhaps make her see reason. It's not any way possible. I kill myself. Oh, come on, put it <laughs> Max Giovanni, hold his up. <laughs> Where is he? He's not here yet. Ah, I wait for him in the corridor. He is promised to me, and I swear by Holy Guru, he is having me. Sorry, let me tell you something. Sorry, I'm not going to die. I'm going to die, I'm going to die, and I'm going to die. If you don't do it, then where are you going? Yes, yes. Hello, Mr. Singh. Well, what am I telling you? Yes, I quite see your point about an elephant. <laughs> Still, don't worry, Ranjit. I'm sure some elephants are very nice. Can I have a knife back, please? Yeah, promise you won't kill yourself. Promise? Killing myself is not going to help me? It's the attitude. <laughs> I have much better idea. Yeah. I kill her! No! <laughs> 